Beautiful. I, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, just keep it real, you know. I, uh, I wear hearing aids uh, in both ears, not exactly street legal, keep that on the DL. Um, that doesn't mean anything. I, uh, I, I do not want any pity, I got to make that clear, I do not want pity. My hearing aids, are, um, you guys should actually be jealous, because uh, I take my hearing aids out to sleep. I sleep like a baby every night. Oh man, wake up feeling refreshed every day. Really makes you wonder who has the disability, you know? Yeah. No, it's me, I have the disability, but... Um, it's me. Since I, uh, I can't hear a thing while I'm sleeping, I can't use a regular alarm clock, I use a special alarm clock. It's a vibrating alarm clock. I put it under my pillow and it vibrates so powerfully, it's amazing. Shakes so, so powerfully, wakes me up every morning. It's a lifesaver, I love it. But it's also so terrifying, so scary. Because all my dreams end in an earthquake. You know? <laughs> Rough way to start the day. But uh, I, uh, I'm so happy I have hearing aids though, because like, if I lived 100 years ago before hearing aids were invented, I would have been screwed. I think about that all the time. Like, I would have been the guy in the village with the giant horn in his ear. <laughs> Nobody liked that guy. <laughs> my hearing aids aren't waterproof, which is ridiculous. They're not, so I have to take them out uh, when I shower or when I go to pool parties. And so, as you might imagine, I'm not very good at the game Marco Polo. That's not my game. <laughs> not a whole lot of polo happening when I play that game. Just a lot of Marco, not a whole lot of polo. When I first started doing comedy, I didn't even want to do any jokes about my hearing aids because I didn't want to be pigeonholed, you know, I didn't want people to be like, oh, the hearing aid guy, well, what's that now? Fuck that guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Didn't want that to happen. I was reading this interview with Russell Peters, and he was talking about how he became so famous for doing like racial and ethnic jokes that when he tried to do other stuff, people didn't want to hear it because they pigeonholed him. You know, they put him in a box. And as soon as I read that, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing any jokes about my hearing aids. Ain't nobody putting this guy in a box. That's what I said, and I meant it. And then uh, a couple paragraphs later in the same interview, he talked about how he made $20 million last year. <laughs> that changed my perspective quite a bit, yeah. I remember when I read that part of the interview, I screamed so loud my hearing aids broke. Because I wear hearing aids. I have a hearing impairment. I can't hear anything. I don't know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 